What's going on YouTube? I am back. So we're here to talk about more woke SJW stupidity. It's out of control these days. We all know that. And in this video, we have a couple of different topics. We've got one about the wokest Hollywood production they put out yet. It looks like an absolute dumpster fire. We're also going to be talking about morbidly obese people getting free seats on planes, all because they can't stop shoveling shit down their throats and also OnlyFans. But as I always say, first up, if you want to help me out, hit the like button and subscribe button as well. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit all notifications because I'm struggling here. But not as much as Santa when he's traveling through Chicago. You got to be careful in the woke areas of the United States. Can get pretty dangerous out there. We see that from the crime stats. You need precautions when you go to get some money out of the ATM. This chick has got the Doberman out there protecting her goods, protecting her assets. And I'm talking about the money here. That's what she's protecting. you got to be careful out there. <laughs> but if we're talking about woke Hollywood, woke entertainment, Disney is at the forefront of this movement and they can't even make a basic children's film without inserting their woke garbage right into it. But if they're continuing to race swap characters, the question is, when are they going to race swap Tarzan? But here's the trailer we're talking about here for this uh, woke garbage, this woke trash fire that Hollywood is putting out. Check out what's going on here. It's that white people are the most dangerous animal in the United States. I said it was woke garbage and I was not lying. But is there any truth to what they just said? Right? Is there any evidence out there that can back this up? This graph is based on the actual statistics from 2018. It's been fact-checked and it shows the number of interracial violent crime incidents in 2018. Remember, they said white people are the most dangerous animal in the United States. So white people attacking black people, there were 59,000 events. That's not good. What about black people attacking white people? Okay, go all the way up here. Um, 547,000. 547,000. So based on that, it would appear that uh, what they said in that clip is completely false and is pushing a certain narrative which is destroyed by the actual evidence. But I'm not satisfied with that. I need more information. So we've got this here, again, from the crime stats from 2018. And this is about the amount of homicides by race, perpetrators and victims. And if you want to have a closer look at these numbers right there, Keep in mind that Caucasian people represent about 60 to 65% of the U.S. population, whereas a black or African-American represents approximately 13%. Based on that, I don't see how anyone could say what was said in that clip. I mean, you'd have to be incredibly stupid, lying, or pushing a narrative to actually say that. But, but let's move on from that trash to another form of trash, OnlyFans. But I think this is the only OnlyFans I would sign up for. Check this one out. So you got the calendar there. Looks good. Looks good. <laughs> that is the only OnlyFans I want to see, okay? Right? Some hot looking fans there. Okay? <laughs> Gen Z suffers from menu anxiety when dining out. With too many scared to order their own meals, they're terrified of ordering. They need to take a page out of John Daly's book here, the great John Daly. Quote, I believe nicotine plus caffeine equals protein, end quote. But let's get on to the, the airlines. Woke airlines. Woke airlines caving to obese people. But firstly, this is what happens when your airlines go woke, right? This is what happens. Do you really want to fly on a plane which is just run by all women? right engineers god help us there's going to be there's going to be an epidemic of planes going down because of this like they can barely drive a car <laughs> they can barely drive a bloody car and we're putting them in charge of planes right what the hell is going on this <laughs> this there's going to be crashes galore because of this <laughs> plus size travel influencer jaylene cheney Say she's working with a U.S. senator to try and get 
Fat flies free extra plane seats after admitting slimmer passengers may foot the bill, right? I don't know why this person's smiling. And the smugness of people like this costing healthy flies more money because they can't stop shoveling shit down their fucking throats is a bloody disgrace. Did the airlines cave? Well, one did. Rewarding obesity. Southwest giving free second seats to customers of size. Free second seats to these people who can't control their eating. It's all self-inflicted, right? A tall person can't change their height. But an overweight person, by their choosing to eat too much, is getting a free seat. This is ridiculous, right? Bring back shame. Why should someone like this get special treatment? I don't understand this. Do veterans get free seats? Do the disabled get free seats? Who else is getting these free seats? Or is it just purely for people who can't control what they eat? By choice. Every one of these obese people is in that position by choice. I've been overweight in the past. And even at my heaviest, I still wouldn't have asked for a free seat. Because I'm not an entitled brat. Hope you're having a good day as always. And as I always say, get the peons. Don't hell out of my stinking air.